Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, bullet holes at a home in Ocean Way. They're from one of the latest drive-by shootings plaguing this neighborhood on Jacksonville's north side. Good evening to you. At least 16s have been shot in the past two weeks. One of them was killed. And this Thursday, city council members plan to address the recent violence with a town hall meeting. News for Jackson reporter Renee Beninati has been piecing together the timeline of events. She's joining us live at Deer Song Drive with what she's found. Renee? Kent, we learned that a home here on Deer Song Drive was just riddled with bullets just hours after that shooting uh, near First Coast High School last Tuesday. At that house, we counted at least 11 bullets in the garage, front door, and windows of that home. Now, we also learned that just about an hour after that shooting, there was another drive-by shooting at an apartment complex just a few miles away from here. Close to a dozen bullet holes in the windows, front door and garage are signs of a drive by shooting at this home on Deersong Drive. Neighbors who did not want to be identified for fear of their safety shared this surveillance video capturing the gunfire around 2.40 in the morning on March 9th. An incident report reveals police say there were six people in the home at the time. One woman telling investigators she heard the gunshots and told others inside to lie down on the floor and get under their beds. News 4 Jax learned that less than an hour later, gunshots were also reported several miles away here at the Canopy Place apartment complex. Edward Turner woke up to the commotion. What did you hear? I just heard some pow, 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 pow. An incident report obtained by News 4 Jack says one woman woke up the next morning and saw her car had a flat tire at the complex. The document says a maintenance crew helping her out said, quote, I'm not worried about your tire. I'm looking at the bullets in your trunk. The crime scene unit advised they found what appeared to be six bullet holes from a rifle in the car. Is it concerning to you to hear about all these shootings? Yes, yeah, concerning. Definitely, I got to try to move. Both of these drive-bys come less than 12 hours after this car with 16s inside was sprayed with bullets near First Coast High School, killing 17-year-old Caleb Floyd. A week before that shooting, a 16-year-old was shot in this parking lot just down the street. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office still has not revealed if any of these shootings are connected. We also obtained the 911 call from that deadly shooting last Tuesday near First Coast High School. Coming up tonight at 11, hear what one of those victims told dispatchers. Reporting live in Duval County, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station.